Welcome to the UC San Diego Shiley Marcos Alzheimer's Disease Research Center Brain Blast series. My name is James Brewer, and I'm the director of the UC San Diego Department of Neurosciences and the Shiley Marcos Alzheimer's Disease Research Center. I'm a professor of neurology, a clinical neurologist, and a brain imaging researcher. I'm pleased to present to you our virtual Brain Blast series. Each of the talks included in the series have been created by Shiley Marcos ADRC colleagues with expertise in brain aging research that focuses on prevention, detection, diagnosis, and treatment of Alzheimer's disease and related dementias. Each of the experts featured in the series studies a unique aspect of brain aging and has developed a brief overview of their current research to highlight the state-of-the-art work that's going on here at UCSD and our center. We hope you'll take advantage of this free resource to learn more about the advances in brain aging, the importance of research, and the multitude of opportunities to get involved and participate in research studies. Hi everyone, I'm Irene Litvan. I am the director of the University of California, San Diego, Parkinson's and Other Movement Disorder Center. I am a professor in neurology. I am at the Department of Neuroscience. I'm part of the Parkinson's and Other Movement Disorder Center. This is a center in which we study uh, problems of movement, either less or more movement, and there are diseases that are neurodegenerative, such as Lewy body disease or dementia with Lewy bodies. So what are the dementia with Lewy bodies diseases. These are a spectrum of dementias that do have several clinical presentations and may have different lesions in the brain. The symptoms include problems with the behavior, with the cognition, with the movement, uh, blood pressure, urine such as incontinence, and sleep that I'll discuss in a minute. There could be lesions that correspond when we look at the brain to Parkinson's disease and dementia, dementia with Lewy bodies, or other diseases that do associate very frequently and make the diagnosis even more difficult. That is Alzheimer's disease, for example, or vascular problems. So, this makes the diagnosis quite difficult. And because it is so difficult, we need to find ways of diagnosing these diseases so much earlier so we can intervene. The Lewy bodies are lesions in the brain that are shown like this when we look with a microscope and we can see these inclusions inside those cells. So all these diseases have these Lewy bodies that do have a protein that it doesn't matter the name, but it's called alpha-synuclein. And the important thing about this is that nowadays there are starting to be therapies to try to slow this disease or these diseases. So if we were to know to diagnose these diseases much better, we could have all our patients into studies that do correspond to therapies that could even improve the symptoms or could improve, more importantly, uh, the progression of the illness and make it so much slow slowly or perhaps even to try to cure or not cure, but at least stop the progression it is impossible to really call cure when we have still lesions in the brain. You may be familiar with some of the things because you may have read in the newspaper someone that we all love uh, who had dementia and not only dementia but also his symptoms would change and some days he would have much better functioning than others um, others in which he could do things, could call, could talk, and others in which he wouldn't even know how to do that. But in addition, 
what is at times very bothersome are the visual hallucinations. These are seeing things that are not there. So this happens as well with problems of movement and the problems are the Parkinsonism. That is really slowness, difficulty in getting up from chairs, difficulty walking, as well as um, problems such as stiffness and perhaps tremors. Patients do have problems with urination. They urinate very, very frequently and at times do develop incontinence. Also importantly, the blood pressure, rather than increase a little bit when we stand up, it lowers and it may lower to very, very low levels that makes not enough blood going into the brain and the brain suffers, worsening on top of it the dementia. In addition, there are problems with sleep. One has really bad sleeps and so enacts those dreams. REM behavior disorder, that is how we call it, may go into either Parkinson's or, or dementia with Lewy bodies. So this is a very important symptom uh, that one needs to consult for. So what is our study goals? Well, one of them has been already achieved, that is to uh, form a group of centers that are dedicated to the study of Lewy body diseases. So what we're doing is collecting detailed clinical information, collecting blood, collecting uh, imaging such as MRIs from a group of subjects that do have dementia with Lewy bodies that I just defined or may have mild cognitive impairment, impairment that doesn't affect the functioning of the person in the house or that doesn't impair the functioning uh, socially. But in addition, these patients do have the high likelihood of having dementia with Lewy bodies. And in order to have that li high likelihood, what happens is that they should have either hallucinations or the enacting of the dreams or other symptoms that suggest, such as Parkinsonism, the possibility of mild cognitive impairment that will lead to dementia with Lewy bodies. Patients can also present with Parkinson's disease that eventually evolve into dementia. So who uh, is coming to our group is going to be followed on a yearly basis. And the overall goal in the future is to collect all these uh, elements, the blood, the uh, urines, the um, imaging, to be able to find markers of the disease, to be able to find ways in which we can diagnose a disease even before most of these symptoms occur. So we can treat patients very, very early. That is the overall goal. We can also study these patients and can find the better therapeutics uh, that could be available. We need to do a lot of study in these patients. And what we're doing is uh, searching for patients that do have these diseases, following them up in 10 sites in the United States on a yearly basis at one, two, or three years, and six months after the baseline, we do see them during weekdays, and they do have a neurologist that is specialized in movement disorders, in dementia, that uh, evaluates them and do the cognitive testing, the questionnaires, and uh, may have as well at times, if they wish, a lumbar puncture. We need a lot of patients at this time to make this study successful. So we need you or your family members or your patients participate in this study. And we appreciate and will be happy 
to help you in any way possible. We see our patients at the Altman Clinical and Translational Research Institute that is across uh, the Thornton Hospital. Our research coordinator is Rachel. You can see her telephone and email in this slide. Thank you for your attention. Has been my privilege talking to you. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation from our UC San Diego Shiley Marcos Alzheimer's Disease Research Center virtual brain blast series. Please look for other presentations in this series and share them with your communities. We hope that you'll also consider participating with, in brain research studies. We always have new opportunities for participation and are actively seeking individuals 65 and older without memory disorders, as well as those with a diagnosis of mild cognitive impairment or Alzheimer's disease and related dementias, such as frontotemporal dementia, Lewy body dementia, and Parkinson's dementia, as well as others. We're also proud to have a bilingual, bicultural team who conduct studies, visits in Spanish. Your participation can make a real difference for future generations. Please click on the description below to complete the very brief survey about the presentation you just viewed. And for those who are interested and who live in San Diego, we'll be happy to contact you. Simply provide your contact information on the secure survey. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.